I'm back. I'm here to film a empties video. Um, I have quite a few empties here and I want to share them with you guys so I can go ahead and throw them out, recycle them. Um, but I love empties videos because you can see, you know, what people have been using up and kind of get their reviews on it. And when you use up a product normally all the way to the end, you can really get an, a good idea of, um, well, if the product is good or not. So I'm going to go ahead and go through all of my items. I have some skincare, hair care, a few things here to share with you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and get right into it. All right, guys, you already know the drill. If you are new here, please consider subscribing to my channel. If you're a returning subscriber, I want to say how much I appreciate and love you guys. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know when I upload um, videos. Also, give me a like and don't forget to comment down below. What products are you going through? What products are you finishing up? Um, so we're going to go ahead and get right into all of these product empties. All right, guys, I'm not going to go in any particular order, but I do want to share um, some hair care products. And I want to share these two products. This is the Philip B. Um, shampoo and conditioner. I got them as a little gift with purchase. And um, Philip B. is Philip B is a high-end um, salon hair care sort of brand. And I got the Nordic Wood Hair and Body Shampoo and the forever shine conditioner these are pretty good um i wouldn't repurchase just because they're so expensive for what they are but the shampoo is really really good it um really feels like it's cl um, clarifying and cleaning your scalp it tingles it smells really good it smells like like kind of like peppermint and pine um it's, it actually smells pretty Christmassy because it really you can really smell the pine um in it so yeah it has white pine Norwegian spruce in it six percent pure botanical extracts that was pretty good and then the pure shine conditioner was really really nice and this is in the it has like a oud scent so very woody really really nice very exciting expensive luxurious hair care products that left my hair feeling really good but I definitely wouldn't repurchase them. Alright guys next product I have here is the Elemis Treat Your Feet foot cream and this is an amazing foot cream I really really love this I got this when actually a couple years ago when we were on a cruise we did you know the spa and everything and um, I got this foot cream while I was at the spa I purchased it after my massage and um, it's really really good I definitely would repurchase this if I came across this um, brand in a store or something like that I definitely will repurchase it right now I'm just using some sort of like tart um, foot cream that I got from TJ Maxx that's really good too but this was a real treat um, again it's the Elemis treat your feet foot cream it's really good the next empty I have here are actually supplements and this is the moon juice super U. these had 60 capsule um, capsules in them this is really really good it was supposed to be like a stress management sort of supplement it has adaptogens in it so it had it's supposed to reduce physical mental and emotional fatigue boost energy and mood um, protect from stress um, control stress related weight gain it was just a really good everyday supplement um, I did feel a little bit of energy I don't know about everything else but you know it really can't hurt to you know take supplements and again this is the moon juice super you I use tons of different like supplements and stuff like that. I really love the Ollie brand. I love the Moon Juice brand and I also use the um, Hum Nutrition brand too. So uh, definitely will repurchase these in the future definitely. The next thing I have here is the Amora Vitsa um, Queen of Hungary Mist and I really really love this. This is just a facial mist. Again an expensive brand but if you are into luxury skincare or niche skincare this is a skincare brand from um, to Budapest and it's really really good um, I definitely would repurchase this facial mist because I really enjoyed it it smells amazing I've used it in the past this is my second bottle of it right now I'm going through another facial mist and then I have a backup of another facial mist uh, from Mario Badescu but once those are done I would definitely revisit this one this is a really good facial mist another skincare product I have here is going to be the Kate Somerville exfoliate this is a staple in my skincare routine I don't have it currently but I am waiting for um the holiday there's a holiday skincare set that i want to get that has this and the facial cleanser from the exfoliate line 
so I think I will purchase that but this is definitely a really good treatment this is a physical and chemical exfoliant um, that you do in the shower you leave it on for two minutes it's really really good if you have textured skin if you have acne prone skin um, this is just really really nice and this is a famous product a lot of people use it um, and I went through one and it takes forever to go through you need a very little bit but it's really really good Yet another skincare item, we have the Inky List Retinol. This was my first little foray into retinol. I wanted to try a retinol and I absolutely loved it. So right now I'm using the Drunk Elephant Retinol. So it's like my big girl retinol, but this was kind of my entryway into using retinols. This is super inexpensive. So if you wanna try a retinol, I really do recommend trying the Inky List Retinol Serum. It's really nice. Retinol is super anti-aging. I am turning 32 very soon and I just wanna get, you know, a jump on all my anti-aging skincare so I have implemented retinol into my skincare routine and I absolutely love it. I have here the Ula Henriksen Glow 2O Dark Spot Toner. This is another like cult famous product. I got this during the summer um, Sephora sale that they had and it's really really good. I do really like it. Um, I would repurchase it in the future. It was really really nice. Some people um, who didn't like it said that it really didn't do anything that was their main complaint but I did find that it really helped my skin um, personally so I do recommend this and I would repurchase it and again this is like a pretty by now it's a cult famous product a lot of people like this too and I am one of the people who really enjoyed it I think I'm just gonna go ahead and get through the rest of the skincare that I have here um, I've been going through a lot of skincare just like everyone else I'm trying to get the skin together because of these masks so um, I have the Charlotte Tilbury magic serum here um, I have a backup of this it's really really good um, it's just a simple hydrating serum it also has niacinamide which is really great for texture and pores on your skin um, it was just a nice gentle everyday serum you can use it morning and night um it was it was really nice i liked how it made my skin feel and i definitely i have a backup but in the future i would definitely keep this in my routine the next skincare thing i have here is the mdna skin face wash this is a purifying calming deep pore cleanser i liked it it was a foaming cleanser but for the price of this, which is $50, I would not repurchase it. Um, I'm just not into buying really expensive, expensive uh, cleansers because of what they do. They cleanse your skin. Um, I feel like if it's just cleansing, cleansing your skin effectively, you can really use any brand. Um, so I definitely wouldn't repurchase this, but it was really nice while I had it and it did last forever. It lasts me almost a year this cleanser so i mean from that standpoint it is really a good investment but um i could you know get a cleanser this large um for a much cheaper price and probably love it just as much so i definitely wouldn't repurchase it it was good while it lasted it really did clean my skin but for 50 dollars, i don't think so another skincare thing i have here is the ula henriksen balance counterbalance oil control hydrator so i got a little travel pack of some of the balance skincare stuff and i went through this one which is the moisturizer because i took it on vacation with me and it's a really good light um, moisturizer if you have oily acne prone skin this is a really really good one it made me feel moisturized but not oily greasy heavy um it didn't make me feel claustrophobic because i was in a humid um country and this was just really really good i do recommend getting the little travel set that has the hydrator it has a toner it has a facial mask a facial scrub and i think one more thing in it that is a really really good little set and i will link it if i can find it down below the last skincare thing I have here is going to be the Ordinary Niacinamide 10% and Zinc 1%. This is a famous, famous serum that a lot of people use and I am one of the people who really, really like it. Um, I really like Niacinamide for my skin personally because I do suffer from enlarged pores, texture. So this is a really great serum to help with the texture of your skin and just kind of tightening up and evening out your skin texture and tone i really like it super gentle you can use it every single night um and i would use this on nights where i wasn't using my retinol i would use this niacinamide serum as my nighttime nighttime serum and it was just great i need to get another bottle um but um 
when I get a chance, when I remember. I need to get another bottle. I need to order one. Um, but yeah, The Ordinary is super, super inexpensive. And um, this is a serum that I will definitely keep in my routine. So that was all of the um, skincare. I'm gonna go into a couple of hair care empties that I have. The first one being the Beautiful Textures Curl Definer Mousse. So this is just a mousse. I really like mousse when I am wearing my hair curly um, or even sleeking down my hair into like a bun. I really like to use um, a mousse and I typically always have one. This one is a really good one. I you know try different brands when I see them I'm not married to this brand but this was a really really good one another product I have here is the Tony Moly pure eco aloe gel so this is just the aloe gel and you can use this um, on your skin you can use it in your hair wherever you want it I use it as a hair gel and it was really really good Tony Moly is a Korean brand so I got this at the Tony Moly store um, they used to have a store in Koreatown but now it's a different store but I think they probably still sell Tony Moly inside that store um, but you can get Tony Moly at any little Korean beauty store and this was a really really good little aloe um, very gel and I really liked it in my hair all right guys I have a fragrance empty I got this um, during um, quarantine and it is it was so good I sprayed it to death and it's gone now and it's the Aria Grande cloud fragrance this is so good this is supposed to be a dupe um, for the Mason Francis Kirkjun Baccarat fragrance and it really does smell like the Baccarat fragrance in my opinion um, and it was just really pretty and feminine and if you like a sweet sort of creamy smell this is really good you would really really like it it's very very feminine um, and it also layers really well with other things so I'm gonna have to get me another bottle of this or maybe I will splurge on the Baccarat by MFK we will see but this was a really good scent Last but not least, I have here a hand soap that we went through, and this is the Orange Blossom Hand Soap with Coconut Oil um, from Savon Grand, and I just picked this up at TJ Maxx. I buy all my hand soaps and things like that at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. I like to try different ones. Again, I'm not married to a certain brand for hand soap. I like to try different scents. Right now, I have a, a vanilla cinnamon Christmassy scent um, that I got at Marshalls um, that you would have seen in my Marshalls haul, so I'm not really married to any particular particular hand soap but this was a really really nice one especially I got it towards the end of summer so it was a really nice sort of summer going into fall scent I love the smell of orange blossom I'm not a huge fan of just like sharp citrus smells especially in hand soap and dish soap but orange blossom is really nice because it has that orange smell but it's also like floral so this was a really really good hand soap and it lasted quite a while Alright guys, so that was all of my empties. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. What are you guys going through and getting through? I know a lot of people are going through skincare right now. Um, let me know down below in the comment what products you're getting through, um, getting down to the end of, or what products you have finished, what products you love that you keep repurchasing. Um, yeah, and don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.